Welcome to the Fix It channel and this is a little uh, tips video regarding ransomware. If you ever have ransomware that encrypts your files or if a friend of yours might have been bitten by ransomware, there's a great, great uh, project called No More Ransom and it's available here at nomoreransom.org as you see here at the top. No More Ransom was created to uh, kind of uh, help people not pay the bad guys because your files have been encrypted. The idea behind this is to attack the uh, bad guys where it hurts the most. That's uh, helping you encrypt the files so you don't have to pay. Because if no money gets to the bad guys, well, they'll just stop making ransomware. So here is, this is the idea behind all of this. So what's this website about? Of course, it's a non-profit organization and it has many partners many big security companies and antivirus companies are teaming up here and everything that you have here is free so basically you've got crypto sheriff on the upper left this crypto sheriff will help you uh, simply choose a file from your PC and you can actually choose a file that's encrypted you can choose a file that's not encrypted same file of course and uh, basically it will check out if it can decrypt and even tell you which tool you might be using to decrypt these files the second part is ransomware questions and answer a lot of information about ransomware where it comes from the types and what to do if you are bitten and what's uh, you know who are victim to this and how you get ransomware there's a lot of prevention advice also. You know, that's why this website is a great place because a lot of information about, you know, how to make sure that you don't get bitten by ransomware. And um, then you've got the decryption tools. And this is getting better and better all the time. So now you can actually click the different decryption tools that you have here. And of course, you need to know um, a little bit more about what type of um, you know uh, encryption it is about so each of the tools you get here are free and uh, they can help you and it's a great idea to maybe put them on a USB thumb drive but very important if you put them on a USB thumb drive uh, some USB thumb drives have a little switch that you can actually activate that prevents the thumb drive from being written over that's very important because if you plug a USB thumb drive in a computer that has ransomware, the ransomware will want to try to encrypt the USB thumb drive also. So very important. Even better yet, put it on a CD and uh, that will really prevent anything because the CD cannot be encrypted after it's written and closed. So, you know, you got to be careful in the way that you bring in the tools. Be careful, of course, if you use a USB thumb drive, not to plug it back on your PC and then infect your PC with ransomware that could be possible. Make sure that you, uh, you know, totally reformat the drive before doing anything else with it. And um, you've got also uh, the report a crime where you can actually uh, report to different law enforcement. Uh, you've got, of course, the partners and about the project. Remember, ransomware is not PC only. There are ransomware now for PCs, for Macs, and even Linux. So that shows you that everybody can be bitten by ransomware, whatever operating system you're using. So it's very important to know that. So this is a great place to go. And um, you know what? If you have some friends that have been bitten by ransomware, well, maybe uh, you can uh, help them by going here and seeing if you can use the tool and maybe decrypt their files. It's a great, great project. It's a great place to go to. And one last thing, it is might it might be possible that you can't do anything. Um, you know, these tools are updated all the time. And there's new partners and new tools all the time. The thing is, to be able to decrypt the partners or the people that put the tools here need to know the way that the ransomware was made and um, the key used in order to decrypt the files. So basically what you have here is tools for ransomware that they were able to find out how it works. So if the person gets bitten by a ransomware that's a year old, chances are pretty good you will decrypt the files. 
but if the ransomware is a br new kind of ransomware, these tools might not be of help. And one last thing, if you really want to make it sure that ransomware will never rent, never be a big problem for you, make sure you have a backup of everything. If ransomware hits, things are encrypted, who cares? You reinstall Windows and you just import your files back. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little website. I think it's a great idea. And this gets better all the time, so you know, regularly go and check out the new tools that they have. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you like our videos, you can subscribe. You'll know when new videos are online. Thank you so much for following us.